Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we're going to look at how Arnold Schwarzenegger used the Gironda dip, or a very similar version at least, to develop his lower chest line. Arnold's chest has been voted the greatest chest in history. Many bodybuilders have come and gone since the golden years, and in my opinion, Arnold's chest is still the greatest of all time. And no doubt, when you see these insane side chest poses, even Franco Columbo is impressed. He's like, Oh, mamma mia, Arnold, you look like an Italian sculpture, exactly. I mean, man, these side chest poses of Arnold aren't only impressive and serve to motivate, but they made me wonder, research and ask, how did Arnold do it? Well, we all know that he did endless barbell bench presses to develop the thick mass that he was known for. And he also did thousands and thousands of pullovers to develop that ridiculous barrel-like chest. But when we look at the photos of a young 19 to 20 year old Arnold, yes, we can see his massive rib cage and massive pectoral muscles. But if you look closely enough at his lower chest line, he doesn't have this lower chest line, this very defined lower chest line he would later present in the later Olympia competitions. He had already been performing regular dips, but his lower chest line was just not as developed. It was then that I began to research his early training methods in the United States and made an interesting observation. As many of us know, when Arnold first arrived in the United States, he was taken directly to Vince Gironda who would refine this monster from Austria. From my research and from comparing Arnold's routines from Europe to those he undertook in the US, it is obvious that Vince's methods influenced Arnold's programs later on. Arnold had never touched a preacher bench nor performed a preacher curl in his life as an example, and Vince didn't just begin to introduce Arnold to exercises that would help Arnold chisel his arms, no. Vince actually would teach Arnold exercises like the Gironda dip to help Arnold perfect his chest development. Have a look here at the extreme range of motion that Arnold is using in the dip. I remember when I saw this photo online once and people were screaming Snap City and all these things like that because of Arnold's range of motion in the dip. But when I saw this photo, I couldn't help to realize the similarity of its execution to the Vince Gironda dip. Comparing both photos here of Vince Gironda and Arnold, we can see Vince Gironda performing the Gironda dip, and we can see the range of motion he used coming right down until his face was level with the bars and his elbows were facing high up. Now looking at this photo of Arnold performing dips later on in the US, and I think you can clearly see my point. Arnold's face is level or even slightly past level with his hands and yeah his face is grimacing, his mouth is open as he gasps for air during those last sets as he screams from the exertion that he's putting in and intensity of the workout. Arnold looks like he is definitely performing the Gironda dip. Now the Gironda dip, if you were to ask Vince or any of his students the question as to which exercise is the best for developing the chest, he and his students would no doubt answer the Gironda dip. The Gironda dip was best known for developing the outer and lower line of the chest, giving the chest that complete look, that look of armor plating so to speak, with well-defined lines and muscle mass right up until the edge of the chest. Now most people will probably be screaming Snap City from looking at this video and from a recommendation of the Gironda dip because of the range of motion and strength in the shoulders required to perform the Gironda dip in such a manner. Most people think that Vince was crazy to recommend this exercise, but most people don't understand his methods. It is important to understand that Vince never recommended to perform the Gironda dip straight off the bat so to speak. In my opinion, even Arnold probably had to learn this exercise progressively, the correct way, which was the way Vince originally taught it. Progressively, yes, to perform the Vince Gironda dip, one needed to progress into it. See, in Vince Gironda's book, The Master Series, which is available on the listed websites, Vince describes the process of progressing into the Gironda dip. In the first month of training in the master series, the student trains the chest using basic exercises like the dumbbell press and the dumbbell fly, but Vince also introduces the student to a very special exercise called the fulcrum push-up, which prepares the shoulder joint and chest muscles for the Gironda dip. 
Now, what is the fulcrum push-up? The fulcrum push-up is an exercise that was likely developed during the Silver Era or even earlier. And we can see, for example, this picture I dug up from Reg Park performing it. It's quite a rare photo and it's from a UK publication. I think it's called The Weightlifter and Bodybuilder. Like Reg Park and his Silver Era contemporaries, Vince Gironda learned this movement back in the 1940s when he was learning to be a gym instructor and he understood the purpose of this exercise. It was to develop the outer and lower chest as well as to prepare and develop the shoulder joint for more difficult chest exercises that require greater range of motion as a trainer advances into his training. So how is the fulcrum push-up performed? Well, it's quite simple. You place three benches in a T shape, in a T formation with two at shoulder width and parallel and one for the feet to stand on. To begin, you place your hands on the two parallel benches and keeping your legs straight, you place your feet on the third stool or bench and perform a plank as the starting position. To begin the exercise and drop down, you bend your knees and drop your legs and then come down by bending your elbows for a full stretch and press up from this deep position. The range of motion for the fulcrum push-up is far greater than the normal push-up and prepares your shoulders for exercises that require a greater range of motion. And thank you to Daryl Conant for this video which can be found on YouTube. Now have a look at this photo. Who do you think that is performing the fulcrum push-up? In one of his first international competitions actually to pump up, he's actually pumping up before entering I believe the Mr. Universe competition. And this particular photo was taken just after this particular bodybuilder was training in the US. Yep, you guessed it, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger, performing fulcrum push-ups just like his mentor Vince Gironda taught him. It is no wonder that Arnold could later progress into the Vince Gironda dip as we saw in the initial photos I presented in this video. Not only that, but Arnold could perform Gironda style dips weighted, that is, with a heavy dumbbell hanging off his legs. Not only did Arnold develop the ability to use this greater range of motion for his chest exercises using the fulcrum push-up and Gironda dip, but he developed the strength in these exercises and in these difficult positions. This of course translated to his ability to develop muscle in these areas, that is, you know, the lower chest line all the, that runs all the way up and out up into the shoulder pits. And he otherwise never would have been able to develop had he not performed these exercises early on in his training. And of course, this is all thanks to the teachings of Vince Gironda and of course, Arnold practicing the fulcrum push-up and Vince Gironda dip. Now have a look at these before and after shots. It really is amazing. Sure, Arnold is more ripped and in pre-contest shape, but one can clearly see the progressive development of Arnold's lower and outer chest and how it improved over time. That lower chest line just became more and more prevalent as if it was drawn with a thick marker pen. Boom! I mean, man, that is just amazing. The difference is so, so clear. I love these photos of Arnold hitting these side chest poses. I mean, you can clearly see the effect these exercises had besides the fact that they are just so iconic and scream golden era. Of course, Arnold would also use cable crossovers to bring out striations in his chest. But to me, it is so obvious that Arnold's lower chest line was helped by those initial lessons with Vince Gironda at Vince's gym. To learn more about Vince Gironda's bodybuilding programs and methods, please visit vincegeronda.com for books and apparel and nspnutrition.com for the best golden era supplements like milk and egg protein and liver capsules as used by the champs and use my code GB20 at checkout for a 20% discount at both shops. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Please share and subscribe and leave me your comments. A question, have you ever tried the Vince Gironda dip? Would you like me to do a video as to how to perform it and how to progress into it? Leave me your thoughts in the comments section, please. Anyway, that's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince. But to be honest, these three books 
I believe, which I call the classic physique bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Gironda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the classic physique bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the Pro Series of Bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each, so it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. The golden era of bodybuilding was born on the sandy platforms, rusty rings, and blistering high bars of Muscle Beach, where young men and women performed feats of strength and gymnastics, igniting a fitness boom that would reverberate for decades. By the 60s and 70s, the golden era was in full form, spreading like wildfire, and engulfing a new generation of bodybuilders who wanted nothing more than an all-natural, well-rounded physique. This lifelong pursuit of physical perfection created legends, including a young Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Lou Ferrigno, the golden boy, Larry Scott, three-time Mr. Olympia, Frank Zane, and the Duke of Delts, Don Howarth. These men all had one thing in common. They all trained under the legendary iron guru, Vince Gironda. Vince believed above all else that bodybuilding was 85% nutrition, and he scoffed at anyone who took shortcuts to achieve their fitness goals. At NSP Nutrition, we hold true to our roots and maintain Vince's spirit alive by sharing his belief that all you need to achieve greatness is the right exercises, the right foods and supplements, and the right attitude. At NSP, you'll find all of Vince's training manuals and books, as many diets that pair perfectly with these exercises, and of course, small batch, high quality production of Vince's original supplements. All our products are clean, superior formulas made from earth-grown nutrients, free of harmful chemicals, added sugars, and toxic preservatives. We make no compromises, take no shortcuts, and accept nothing but the best. Because the moment you decide to get back into shape or want to accelerate your gains and win your next competition, NSP will be by your side to help you achieve your personal health and fitness goals. That's how we maintain the spirit of the Golden Era Champions and honor the legacy of our founder, Vince Gironda. Simply put, our customers trust NSP Nutrition and they appreciate what we stand for. Once you become a customer, you become part of the NSP family. This is NSP's commitment to you.